All right, go and cloak. There we go. And <laughs> I scared the hell out of him, that's for sure. How's it going, everybody? It's Regas here, and welcome back to another episode of Crossout. So I was building last night on my promo account, and I came up with whatever the hell this thing is. One thing's for certain, it's probably way too big for its own good. It's another melee-focused design. We also got an 88mm cannon on the back, and I wanted to utilize the chameleon, uh, which I have down back here. Now, if you don't know what the chameleon is, it does make you go totally invisible for a short period of time. Basically, what I built is the cross-out version of a TF2 spy. You go invisible, you go behind them, and you stab them in the back. Now, I don't know if this will be a viable option with how big it currently is. We have a 5,762 power score here with uh, 16,000 kilograms of weight. This is definitely probably the biggest thing I've built yet, but it still is quite quick with that uh, engine that I got in the back there. And as you can see, I can churn it extremely quick as well. Now, the idea is pretty simple. Try and sneak around the map, get behind them via using my chameleon here, and then, of course, hit them in the ass with my harvester. And that should take it down pretty damn quick, as you saw. We also got the cannon on the top we can shoot them with. But yeah, I just took down my own creation in literally seconds. So yeah, like I said, I don't know how good this thing is going to be at the high tiered power scores, but we're going to try this one out, and then we can obviously tweak it and make it a lower power scored vehicle if we need to. So let's get into it. Okay, here we go. I am actually invisible right now, and we got the first guy. Michael Bio's down. That actually worked really well. But I have to play this like a spy. This is very abnormal to me. I'm used to keeping the pressure on. Right now, I'm hiding and trying to keep out of the way. We got Mo over there. Maybe I can go and get him. My cloak is actually up now, so that's good. Actually, is this an enemy right here? Okay, I think that... Yeah, that is definitely an enemy, so I'm going to cloak up. He's not going to see me here. Here we go. Coming in. Oh, shit. Of course he dies right when I get there. Okay, where are you enemies? There's Connor right there. I think that's another bot. That's okay, though. I'm trying to look for the other enemy, but uh, we can always get Connor here. Bam! There you go, Connor. Oh, no, this is the actual guy. Oh, my God. He's got gu guided rockets. All right, there we go. I'm going to start deteriorating him now. There we go. Just slow and steady. <laughs> I took him down. All right, let's go back and get that bot. Okay, where'd you go, bot? Oh, there he is. All right, I don't. I wonder if the bots can't see me. Well, Connor's not really paying attention anyway, so I'm just gonna go over and freaking kill him. Oh shit! I lost my gun. I just realized. So all I got is me melee weapons left. All right, here we go. He is so fucking dead. Yes. Slowly deteriorated. God damn it! You didn't let me kill him. God damn teammates went in the game for me. Oh well. Well, that was actually a good first run there. I didn't expect to get. I think I got, well, technically I got two kills, but I would have got three if I would have had a couple more seconds. Okay, round two. This is a, a very short map, so I got to figure out which way I want to go. I'm still learning the maps here, so bear with me. Bots should be coming around this corner, if I remember correctly, any time now. So I'm going to come down here and kind of peek around this corner. Okay, I'm seeing an enemy. I'm just going to wait for him to come here. He is going to come this way. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't know what he's getting into. All right, go and cloak. There we go, and... <laughs> I scared the hell out of him, that's for sure. Okay, there we go. Let's start hitting him now. Yeah, you better run, bitch, because I'm coming for you. But please don't tell me I lost my harvester. No, I didn't. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's just keep grinding him down. Yes. Into the wall, and this guy's got to be dead soon. Oh, shit, I lost my harvester, but I still got one of my chainsaws. Okay, I think this guy's probably got me. I got to utilize this chainsaw. Why is my chainsaw not hitting him? Please don't kill my chainsaw. Please. No, he's going to kill me. Are you serious? I thought I had that in the fucking bag. Like, look at this thing. I turned him into R2-D2, but he beat me fair and square, so good game, I guess. Okay, that last one didn't go as planned. I got really cocky thinking, you know, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm so sorry, dude. I feel like I got in his way, but then again, he ran into the rock himself, so fuck it. Anyways, hopefully this one's a bit better. We're back on uh, the bridge map. I don't even know what this one's called. We got a bot going on here. You know what? Let's see if we can get a few pot shots off. We don't have to just use my cloak. We can also, of course, use the cannon as well. And the bots walk right into the cannon fire, so it's all—it's just great, you know? I mean, let's actually, let's see if we can go pay this little guy a visit. Come here, James. James, don't run into the wall, James. Okay, James is going to run into the wall. And there he goes. 
And here's Mary to just drive by me for whatever reason. These bots, man, they are sometimes the worst. Oh god, there we go, and grind her down for another free kill. This, uh, this grinder is actually kind of slow if you don't hit it right. Or maybe that's just me seeing things, I don't really know. But okay, we got the bots down, let's go actually kill some real people now, shall we? Okay, there's Vist. You know what, Vist is probably too busy fighting uh, teammates. Oh, he just jumped off the cliff. Okay, so he's trying to get away. He's actually really fast, I'm not gonna be able to catch up to him. Okay, I should not have followed Vist, I didn't realize there was another guy here. Okay, David Jonathan. I am going to hit you because you're basically dead as well. Okay, here we go, there's some guys right here. And this is not good. I'm dead. <laughs> I keep forgetting I'm in, like, high-tier gameplay. All these guys have customized their creations for hours on end, so they're obviously very good. Okay, I see an enemy here. We got Muffin right in the back there, but there's a guy right around here, isn't there? All right, I'm gonna cloak myself so Muffin doesn't shoot me. All right, I'm gonna go and get Muffin, actually, since he's right in my fire right now. Here we go! How's it going, buddy? There you go! <laughs> and that's why this build is so damn rewarding, man. He did not even see that. Oh shit, I'm getting away now. I am so screwed. I shouldn't have came back. Oh, fuck God. These guys got me good. I don't even care though. That one kill, that was so worth it. This, this chameleon, it might not be the best, but it's the most fun to play, that's for sure. Okay, and it's tweaking time. We're actually gonna do quite a bit of tweaking this time. I'm gonna get rid of the 88 millimeter. I'm actually gonna get rid of all this heavy armor, and I'm gonna try some light armor out just to see how that does. I'm just really curious about it. I uh, don't know if it'll work good or not, but I feel like if I go faster around, obviously, I'm gonna have more of a chance on getting these melee kills that I so desperately need. Okay, and I know I said I would just uh, do some slight tweaking to my design, but I actually <laughs> decided to just make a whole new one. I actually wanted to try it with the buggy chassis instead because it is a much faster chassis with higher acceleration as well. Uh, mind you, you can't hold as much kilograms of mass on it, much less kilograms for that matter, but this thing's only 5,383 kilograms currently as compared to whatever we had before, like 17,000. So yeah, it should be fun. Let's actually just take it for a quick test drive here to see the speed difference. Let it get up to speed first here. And as you can see, it isn't too fast, but it's definitely a hell of a lot faster than before. I also put a shotgun on the top, which is much better at close range. <laughs> and that's not a good sign. This thing has very low defense if I can run right through it. But I thought we would try it out. It's much lower of a power score, too. I actually didn't even look at the power score. Holy shit, it's actually really high. 4,424. Regardless, let's try it out and see how it does. Okay, and here we are in our first game. There's actually quite a few bots here, and that's one of the downsides about playing high power scores, at least currently. A lot of the actual community hasn't gotten this high yet, so you play against a lot of bots. But that's okay, that just means I can get some free kills, that's all good. I'm gonna actually be very aggressive with this build because it is much faster. We got uh, low skills actually over here, so I'm gonna cloak up so he doesn't see me. Oh, he knows I'm here now, and he's getting the fuck out of the way! <laughs> but that's what happens! Okay, low skill, let me actually start using some of my shotgun as well. Kill sis, so there we go! That was actually a freaking hard hit. And we're gonna hit this guy if we can. Okay, I hit him with my at least my spear, and now hopefully... Wow, Ble Beck D just kicked his ass! Well, that was two of the actual players gone, which is good. Now we got some bots going on over here, so this should be pretty damn easy if I can hit him. Okay, knocked off his back track at least. <laughs> and once again, Beck D coming in for the kill. We, we make a good team, me and Beck D. Okay, but there's only a bot left, so I'm just going to try and cap this base, not even look for him because, well, it's a bot. Even if I kill him, it's not that rewarding. So I'd rather just cap the base and get those extra points. But yeah, first impressions of this new design. Definitely the added speed helps a lot, and you can see I'm just drifting around. <laughs> right now and it's much more fun when you're going faster as well and there we go we got the victory yeah okay i've almost reached the base i haven't actually seen anyone yet oh there we go we got surge behind me i'm actually gonna go hide behind this thing and see if he actually follows me and then i can cloak up actually i think they're fighting someone over there oh god damn it i damaged my own self again all right let's cloak up because they're coming this way they won't even <laughs> expect this but uh let's hope for the best here i'm gonna hit surge right in the fucking head there we go <laughs> And let's deteriorate him a little bit. Oh, come on, God damn it! <laughs> and they got me. Now, I made Surge go on fire, so uh, they technically won. And when it was two on one, I couldn't really do much about it. I think that's as good as I could have played it. Okay, back at the bridge once again. I'm gonna rush until I see people. There we go, I just cloaked up. Ta Taka knows I'm here. Oh, he actually hit me! Good eye on his part. 
Uh, but that just means I'm not going to try and attack them. I'm just going to try and run away here, actually get to their base. Dominic's still at their base here. Tapka's actually following me, so I have no choice but to actually try and fight him if I can. So here we go. Let's see if I can hit him. Come on! You didn't hit my spear? That shit's bullshit. Look at him trying to get away, though. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, fuck. God damn it. Yeah, that's the thing. When, when I actually get caught, I'm totally screwed. I just don't have the defenses to uh, take a few hits. Okay, so now I'm just curious. We're going to go bare bones here, guys. And when I mean bare bones, I mean bare bones. We're going to use the harvester, my hull, and that's pretty much it. Obviously, we need the chameleon as well. I'll probably keep the engine on here as well, but let's get rid of everything else. That way, we drop the player score way freaking down. And I actually got rid of some of the wheels as well just to add to this power score. So this is... Pretty much a harvester, the hull, an engine, and the, the chameleon. Uh, I guess I can even get rid of the radio here. There we go, 1923. Okay, but before we actually go out, I'm just curious to see how fast this thing is. And as you can see, very fast, obviously. It's very light right now, and all it has on it is a harvester. But if I actually start hitting him, yeah, it actually deteriorates him really quickly. So this might be fun to try. Okay, so we're in low tier right now. Now, I need to play this smart because basically one hit and I'm dead. I have no defenses right now. Uh, so I'm just going to run around as fast as I can. I know that's not playing it smart, or at least it doesn't seem like it, but I can just cloak right away whenever I see anybody. Now, I saw those two people over there. I think they were just bots, though. I'm going to go all the way around the map and see if I can hit anyone from behind over here. Okay, actually, someone's capping right now, so I do gotta go over there, unfortunately. I'm gonna watch out for snipers here. Uh, I wonder if I could jump off this cliff. Let's find out. Yep, totally fine. All right, cloak up. Here we go. We got one guy here. <laughs> He's gonna be hit hard. Yes. Oh, my God. Come on, start grinding thing. For some reason, it stops grinding every now and then. There we go. We got the enemy destroyed. Now, let's go and fucking run away because we don't have the defenses to deal with this. And hopefully, we can cloak up again. All right, turn over here. Come on. I just gotta get away from this guy. Get away from me. Get away from me. All right, cloak. Come on, hurry up and reset. I'm gonna fucking die here. Okay, you know what? I, I, I gotta jump down. I'm gonna freaking die here. I'm gonna fucking flip. Is this guy gonna follow me? Uh, maybe I should cloak. I'm gonna cloak. Don't see me. <laughs> well, this is awkward. God damn it, he's got a flipper and I don't. I wonder if he'll run into me. Nope. Okay, I'm so... <gasps> God damn it, if that cloak lasted longer, he would not have found me. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. You bastard. <laughs> I love how he just drove away. It's a good thing he looked behind him because he got me fair and square. That was really fun, though. Okay, so I did a really quick tweak here. As you can see, I added the explosive rods back onto the vehicle. I feel like the added 200 power score is definitely worth them because they will basically decimate the first person you hit. And killing quickly is important with this build because I have no defenses at all, so I'm going to use that. Okay, but I'm taking the swamp route here. Hopefully there's nobody over here. I'm, I, the thing with this one is I want to get behind them. So, uh, so far so good. I don't think anyone's down on this side. And I'm actually back at their base over right, right now. Okay, here, here, here's an actual bot. I think I'll just kill the uh, William with the uh, explosive spears. Okay, I actually don't know where that bot went. He went that way, but my teammate was actually there, and he must have just ran by him, or he killed him. I don't know. Uh, we're just going to try and base cap here. I'm sure there's going to be some people coming back, and when they do, I will cloak up. Or not. I mean, that's cool, too. I, I don't mind winning when I don't get hit at all. I just got the flawless uh, sticker, which is good. But that's another benefit to this vehicle. People don't usually expect you to base cap so early on, and being that this thing is so damn fast, you can definitely do it quite well. Anyways, we're back at the bridge. Usually right around this corner, there's at least one person, so I'm going to cloak up. And hey, how's it going? <laughs> there we go. Oh, shit, I'm so dead. And, and that's what happens when you hit multiple people. Okay, guys, well, that wraps it up for another episode of Crossout. I hope you enjoyed the... <laughs> oh, my God, that's great. Sorry. Uh, back to the outro. I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Uh, checking out the chameleon in this game. Very awesome build to use. Very fun to try. And, yeah, I did my best to make a competitive vehicle. Obviously not that competitive, considering a couple machine guns just kicked my ass. But, yeah, I think if you play it right, it can definitely be competitive. So I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. As always, I just want to say thank you for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.